Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again today. If you're new to my channel, thanks so much. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. So today I'm going to play with my split cup again and I'm gonna do a similar design to the one that I did not so long ago that I called Zebra. So I did a monochrome black and white um, split cup pour on a round canvas and that turned out so good. I wanted to try it again, but with a different um, color palette. Now I called the last one Zebra, and I'm gonna call this one Tiger, because I'm gonna use like a black, a copper, and a, um, a gold color, the, a similar color to um, a Tiger. So let's see if it works out. I'm gonna layer up my uh, split cup with just those three tones. So let's see what we can create. Okay, so these are the tones that I'm going to use. Um, so as you can see, um, quite thick mixtures again. The consistency that I would use for a ring pour. So you can see a mound upon a mound. And this colour here is by Amsterdam. And it's the yellow ochre opaque tone. This is the uh, De La Rowney Graduate Acry uh, Acrylic, and this is a metallic brown colour. So I'm hoping that's going to give like a bit of a shimmer. And then I've got Mars Black by Winsor & Newton. So they're the tones that I've chosen to replicate a uh, the colour palette of a tiger. So let's see if this works. Wish me luck. Okay, so I'm going to use a 40 centimetre diameter round canvas. You'll remember I did um, a black and white one, a monochrome one um, last time that I said I was going to call Zebra. So hopefully this one's going to be called Tiger. Okay, so what I have done is I've painted my sides and my edges so that I can get full coverage on the canvas. And I've used the Amsterdam Yellow Ochre uh, colour. Um, I hope it's going to work and I hope it's going to look like a tiger. Okay, so I'm going to layer my cup. I'm going to, I think, use the black in just one, one of the sides. And then I'm going to use these two colours in these three um, segments there. So which one to use the most of? I think I'm going to use the, the yellow. So I'm going to do yellow, metallic brown, the yellow and then the black. Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. Ah! I hope that's the right decision. Anyway, let's just go for it, shall we? So I'm going to put the yellow in here. And the yellow in here. Oh, I hope I've got enough. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put the metallic brown in there. And then the black just on one of the sides. Don't want too much black because I don't want that colour to overtake the design. I've been studying tigers for the last couple of hours just to have a look at the colour palette. So, um, OK, do we think this looks tiger? We're going to find out, aren't we? OK, let's do it. OK, so I've got my cup. I've put the colours in. Let's put it on the canvas. OK, so I'm going to just go around the edges in like a squiggle kind of motion. And then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill the middle by just going the other way. So like a zigzaggy kind of way. Okay, and then I'm going to just put like an edge round. So when I um, 
when I stretch that out, that's going to go completely over the edge. So that you know that's fine if it doesn't correspond with all the other designs. So good, I'm happy with that. Okay, right. I'm obviously going to stretch this out. I think the um, I think the metallic brown. This kind of colour might get a bit lost, but hey, we don't know till we try, right? So I'm going to stretch this out and see what kind of design that we get. Let's do it. So there we go. I'm just going to. We'll just go in a circular motion and I'm going to let that paint just fall off the edge. Go all the way around. All the way around. What do we think? I think it's Tiger. I definitely think this is Tiger. Yay! Let me know what you think, guys. Okay, here is the wet version of Tiger. Quite rich colours. I'm going to be really interested to see how they dry. I don't know if some of the black is splitting up. I think maybe it may do, and that's because it was a slightly um, more fluid consistency than the other two colours. But hey, we live and learn, right? We we kind of learn that as we go along about the the consistencies, depending on what brand of paint that you use. But I think overall, this does say to me, Tiger. I'd love to know what you think. So drop some uh, suggestions and some feedback in the comments below. I'll show you a dried version afterwards. Okay, so let me just take you in a little bit closer, just so you can see those rich tones. And I think the three tones that I chose to represent Tiger we're spot on. I'm really, really happy with those. Yeah, all good. So let me show you the dried version. I'm really happy with the colour combinations. And this does say tiger to me. So what animal would you like to see next? Let me know. Thanks so much for being with me. Take care. Bye.